our study investigated the effects of certain kinds of plastic and how a chemical in those plastics called nonophenol, how that leaches from those plastics and actually is toxic to the fish that house them. So we were interested in looking at the plastic bags that fish, when you take them home from a pet store or something, so you take them home in these plastic bags. And so we wanted to understand if um, this chemical, nonophenol, can leach from certain bags at levels that can be toxic to these fish. We looked at a number of different bags and um, two of these bags were actually labeled identically as FDA food grade polyethylene. So when you go to purchase them, you think you're purchasing necessarily the same thing and it wasn't. So one of these bags was relatively non-toxic, um, no significant mortality, but one of these bags was very toxic. In fact, it leached um, highly toxic amounts. We had roughly 60%, more than half of the fish died after a 48 hour exposure. Um, and then the long-term survival was, was basically zero. So after about eight days of being exposed previously Previously to these bags, um, all the fish from those treatments um, died. One of my take home messages is it's really not easy to understand what a good and a bad plastic bag is, so you can't necessarily tell by the label. So for me, the take home message is if there are alternatives to plastics, such as glass, um, I will probably use them. The manufacturer of the bags that we um, showed to be toxic not only uses them for ornamental fish trade, but they're also used in food packaging. So they might be used for, um, as bread bags or a number of other food packaging materials. So, so the problem with these bags extends beyond just the ornamental fish trade and actually could pose problems for humans, human health as well.